So there's a new comedy coming out starring, uh, well, they haven't started production yet, but it's a comedy set in outer space. It's going to star Bill Hader, Zach Galifianakis, and Seth Rogen, directed by the screenwriter for Jump, 22 Jump Street. So, Jacob, you're a big comedy guy. What do you think about this combination? I love it. I always say, look, you got all these great actors, whether it's drama or comedy or anything, why not, you know, put these great ensembles together? Look, I'm a huge Seth Rogen fan. I really like Bill Hader, especially after Train. I thought he was great in Trainwreck. He's never really had, I mean, smaller movies, but he's never really had that, you know, a leading or a second leading role. And I thought he carried Trainwreck as being the male lead really well. Um, and, you know, Zach Galifianakis, I, you know, I'm 50-50 with him. Like, I, I enjoy half of his movies a lot, and I you know some of it. But actually, after Birdman, Birdman, I think he should try to do some more dramatic stuff. But And still comedy, because he's still funny in Birdman, but <clears throat> very different type of humor. Um, and we haven't seen, I hope, first of all, I hope this is rated R. This better be rated R. We haven't seen, like, a hard R comedy in space. I mean, not any any time recently. So I, I'm excited about this. I really am. Jake? Uh, I mean, yeah, Zach Galifianakis, I'm kind of tired of him. It's kind of the same old comedy with him. Seth Rogen, I'm 50-50 on because I don't like some of his stuff. I do like some of his stuff. It all kind of feels the same every once in a while. But Bill Hader is the, the one that I'm most excited about. Just like you, I thought he was phenomenal in Trainwreck. Yeah. Um, what he's been doing lately is so good. I thought he was amazing in Inside Out as his voice. Oh, um, true. He was. And so great as that's, that's what yeah. will get me to the theater watching him. Um, I'm just, I don't want it to be the normal Seth Rogen comedy. I don't want it to be the normal slapstick Seth Rogen uh, hour and a half, two hour comedy that we see year in, year out. That's kind of what scares me. But hopefully the space factor is a little bit different and it brings something different to the movie. Yeah, this is an easy buy for me. Um, I thought... Well, the first time I saw Bill Hader uh, was with Seth Rogen as uh, Cops and Superbad. Those, oh, they were, I, I didn't even think about that. They, they were, were awesome. great in Superbad. Yeah, they were so that, awesome. And, and then Zach, you throw Galifianakis in there. Galifianakis, uh, I think he excels in the third role. Um, I mean, I'm talking about like in uh, The Hangover where he's kind of like, you know, you have the two lead guys and then he's that guy. Yeah, that that's along, true. You know, so hopefully they go that route. Evan Goldberg producing, that's always a good sign um, uh, with Seth Rogen. Uh, so yeah, it's an easy buy for all of us. 